Plants are more efficient at acquiring carbon than our fungi in the form of carbon dioxide and converting it to energy-rich sugars. So first of all, this is a rare case where what's following the underlined phrase gives us a big hint in the form of carbon dioxide. Well, what can be in the form of carbon dioxide? Carbon can be in the form of carbon dioxide. Fungi are not going to be in the form of carbon dioxide, obviously. So the, the underlined clause has to end with carbon. So all of these ending with fungi are wrong right away. So that narrows us down to two answers. Also, we need a strong comparison. We're constructing a comparison here, and we need a strong comparison between plants and fungi. So in A, what we had are plants are, then are fungi. Technically, that would be a correct comparison, although that's a bit wordy. Plants, in B, what we have, plants are more efficient at acquiring carbon than fungi. It sounds like they're acquiring two things. They're acquiring carbon and they're acquiring fungi and they're better acquiring the carbon. That's not the meaning. And that, that problem is repeated in E. Plants acquire carbon more efficiently than fungi. So in other words, again, the plants are acquiring two things, carbon and fungi, and they're better at acquiring the carbon. That's not the meaning. So A, B, and E are all out. In C, what we have, plants are more efficient than fungi. Perfect, a very clear, very direct comparison. E, what we have is plants more efficient than fungi. And what happens is we lose the verb are and the subject plants has no verb in that form of the sentence. So if we read D all the way through, plants more efficient than fungi at acquiring carbon in the form of energy rich carbon dioxide and converting it to energy rich sugars, there's no verb in that sentence. So D is out because it's lacking a verb. And therefore, the only possible answer remaining is C. So what we have with C, plants are more efficient than fungi at acquiring carbon in the form of carbon dioxide and converting it to energy-rich sugars. So C is by far the best answer.